Cleaners Mentor Consulting proudly presents another informational specific video in our Steam Trap Maintenance Series. This video is specific to the thermodynamic design of steam trap commonly used in the dry cleaning and laundry industry. This type trap is often called a disc trap. The design of this trap only has one moving part, the disc. The trap operates by using the thermodynamic properties of pressurized heated water being released to atmospheric pressure. The distinct click heard as the trap cycles is the sound of the disc slamming against the seat. As the condensate empties from the steam system side of the trap body, the last droplets of condensate suddenly flash into steam creating a tiny explosion. To demonstrate, pictured is an inverted bucket trap and a thermodynamic trap. Both are piped to a common feed with one valve. Watch the condensate empty from the feed as the valve is opened. Listen to the click of the disc as the trap cycles. As this scene repeats, listen again for the distinct click of the disc hitting the seat. This is a cutaway of the disc trap showing the four stages of the cycle. Pictured are examples of the thermodynamic trap the last two have built-in strainers. A strainer is always recommended. Warning, a steam trap can be pressurized. Do not attempt this while the steam system is pressurized. The only means of inspecting the disc is to remove the large nut-shaped top. This will require a large adjustable wrench and another large wrench to stabilize the trap while loosening. Some installations will require the trap be removed from its position and held in a vise to remove the top. Once loosened, the top will turn easily by hand. Use caution as the top is removed, ensuring the disc does not drop. The disc simply lays on the valve body. The pressure of the steam system pushes the disc up allowing condensate to flow to the outlet port. The center orifice is where the steam enters the trap body. It is this surface that seals with the disc to stop steam from passing. The two smaller openings in the cavity is the outlet from the trap. Ensure these are clean and free of any restriction. The disc will appear discolored and corroded. This is normal. Looking closely, there should be a polished ring right at the point that the disc contacts the seat. Look closely at the center ring. Notice the ring has discoloration on the lower left side. This is evidence that the trap is beginning to leak. Replace the seat in top. Make sure all surfaces are clean and free of debris. The top seals without a gasket or sealant. Without a replacement, the disc can be polished using 600 grit sandpaper on a flat surface. Some manufacturers offer replacement discs to renew the trap. Have questions? Need parts? Contact us at Cleaners Mentor Consulting.